Hi, everybody. It's your rifle. Hey, I'm your rifle. You're acting a little bit weird. I know a lot of you thought I quit. Dang you, why are you still freaking commentating on a video rifle? Quit already! What are you doing back here on the tubes? It doesn't make sense. Come on, you guys have to agree with me on this one. Someone get this spastic off the tubes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still here. You watched that whole video? Maybe you would understand why I'm still here. If not, well then, just understand. I'm still here. I didn't actually quit. I'm sorry. I know that's terrible and horrific news to a lot of you. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Anyways, enough about that I'm quitting video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get not one, but two. Two melee weapons that do have the possibility to kick some serious ass. But if melee isn't your forte, then this video is going to totally suck ass. Absolutely. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Anywho, let's get into this. This first weapon is a heavy hitter. Supposedly, you can get this from legendary enemies and even raiders. I don't know if this is completely bullshit or not. I only read this, so... To be honest, I never had this happen to me. Anyways, first off, you want to go to the Museum of Bitchery and then head over to Private Bitch Tits on the ground over here. Make sure to check her body, especially for the hollow tape for all you perverts out there taking off her clothes. What the heck's the matter with you? Anyways, once you, uh, get the holotape, this should start the Devil's do, Which will lead you to the first shitty weapon I have planned for you. Not really, though. It's not really that shitty. When you finally get to this area inside this place, be careful not to get distracted by these sex dolls. You'll know where you're at when you get to this area. Because these can definitely fool you. At least they did me. I was sitting here asking directions from what appears to be sex dolls for quite some time. The lighting in this room had me fooled. And yes, that's all I was doing for all you perverts out there. That's all I was asking. I was asking directions. You're acting a little bit weird. Anywho, inside here, be sure to grab this missile launcher and this sexy grognik porn mag also Perfect. to help you with your stats. Surprisingly, you don't even have to fight this behemoth inside this place. Just try to make it a past him or her. I, I don't know. I can't really tell. Am I really supposed to? Am I really supposed to specify a death? Well, I'm just going to. I'm just going to call it an it. Anywho, you can sneak past it by just going through this hole in the wall by where it first comes from. This is a level 35 area, so it's your choice on whether or not you want to do this route. The goal, though, is to steal this Death Claw's egg. And where it's at, the Death Star Nipple Claw can't get you at. So as long as you can make it back into this room, you'll be okay. Shouldn't be too tough to find it either. I mean, not like this place is like a labyrinth or something. Unless you're a pinhead like me, you'll be fine. The next step is to be a delivery bitch. By taking this egg to a Death Claw's nest. So up nest, haha, <laughs> I'm such a spastic. Make sure you do this first, even though it gives you the option to don't sell the egg to Diamond City. You can do that later. First, just head northwest. There will be other death nips, so be prepared. Anywho, there should also be the unique melee weapon laying around this area. Keep in mind, it does spawn in different spots. So just because you see it here on the footage I'm showing you right now, does not mean it'll actually be there for you. I mean, it can be, but it can also spawn in different spots. Also, supposedly you don't even have to physically turn in this death claw egg to the nest to find the weapon. Even if you do end up turning in the egg, you can still take it back out and end up selling it to Wellingham to get you a few extra bottle caps and he'll be located at Diamond City. Okay, so up next on this shitty weapon selection, since for some reason not a lot of people seem to enjoy melee on Fallout like me, I have for you guys Shim Drown's Dildo, which uninterestingly enough to a ton of people, there is a lot of real history with Shim Drown in Boston. To be able to start this quest though, I'll get to that later. To be able to start this quest, it may be a while for some because you have to have finished all of Valentine's quest log shindig. Then there will be this paper that you can pick up inside that will automatically start the quest. Now I have been told that you can just go straight to this next part and collect this Gilded Grasshopper, which will be in the top of the building of this place. 
but I don't know if that's actually true, and also I don't know if you still have to have completed all of Valentine's quest line. So, I don't know. I don't know about all this information I'm being told to be actually true, but if you want to give it a shot, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I hope it works out, for real. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You don't even need to have to pick up the paper in Valentine's Place to start this. That's what some information was being sold. So, I don't know. It's rumored. Anyways, like I was mentioning before, though, it will be on top of Hall. Sorry, I'm not even going to really attempt to pronounce that, so might as well just jibber-jabber it up and add the hall there. There will also be an army of super mutants to fight inside this place, so make sure to come prepared. Preferably explosives prepared okay anyways once on top of this building you'll find what shim drown himself made the grasshopper weather vane which is what he was most famous for he is the first person to be documented to create weather vanes he was a colonial coppersmith in boston massachusetts and was buried in actual cops hill cemetery this place that we went to is where the actual gilded grasshopper is at in real life Anywho, since all that uninteresting bullshit to most is done and said, you should get a note from the Gilded Grasshopper once you pick it up, which will lead you to Shim Drown's grave. So now, just head to the grave to get the weapon. You should get a note from Gilded Grasshopper. It will be marked on your map now. What they added in this grave with the corpse of Shim Drown was definitely on purpose. Like the copper bars, silver bars, and gold bars... I mean, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but he was a colonial coppersmith and tin plate worker. This is the guy who is famous for creating the grasshopper weather vane and the world's biggest copper, silver, and golden dildo. Hence the reasoning for the bars that they added surrounding his body. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this shitty Fallout 4 video. Hopefully y'all ended up enjoying these two unique melee weapons. One's a more heavier damage thing, while the other is a quick, agile, and poisonous thing. Much love, everyone, for making it through this whole pathetic video. It's been real. It's been a real ride. If you could, also remember to give a like for free oxygen. Hopefully it's the right choice. This isn't me trying to whore out likes or anything, if that's what you're thinking. Heck no. That's stupid. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but this has been your rifle, and remember to stay safe out there, everyone. And... Don't sleep in pee. Peace. Yeah.